Namaste. Hi, I'm Gayatri and welcome to Shivananda Sequence Phase 1. So for the individual poses, you can watch the videos on each pose. This is going to be the Phase 1 sequence just at one go. So you're going to start out in corpse pose. Lie down on your back with your feet out, hands by your sides, palms up. Let your little toes drop to the sides and the arches of your feet turn to the ceiling. Close your eyes so you're not taking in any stimulus from outside. And then just mentally observe your body. So notice if the right and the left sides feel symmetrical. And if there's any differences, see if you can make small adjustments just to make sure that your body is balanced on both sides. And now pay attention to your breath. Breathe in through your nose and out from your nose. Send the breath to the lower belly and let your belly rise on your inhale and fall on your exhale. Let the back body sink into the floor, just letting go of any tension there. Continue letting the breath flow freely, naturally, trying to take full breath. Observe your body. Notice what's happening in the crown of your head, your facial muscles, your shoulders, and moving on down, just being aware of every part of your body. And now we're going to wake up the body by doing tension and relaxation. So we're going to start with the feet. Just squeeze your feet as tightly as you can. Release them. Squeeze the lower legs, the calves, and release them. Squeeze your thighs. Release. Squeeze your buttocks. Release. Squeeze your hips. Release. Squeeze your lower abdomen below your belly button. Release, squeeze your lower back, release, squeeze the upper abdomen below the rib cage, release, squeeze your upper back, release, squeeze your chest, release. Bench your shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze, release, make fists with your hands, squeeze your arms and hands, release, without lifting your head, squeeze the front of your neck, just try to isolate the muscles there, and release. Squeeze the left side of the neck. Again, without moving. And release. Squeeze the right side of the neck, just isolating the muscles. Release. Squeeze the back of your neck. Release. Squeeze your facial muscles. Bring everything to center. Squeeze tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. And a big smile. Pull your lips back, let your cheeks show. Squeeze. And release. And a frown. Pull your lips down. Release. Squeeze your scalp and forehead. Release. And now we're going to do the whole body at once. So raise your arms about an inch and a half off the floor. Raise your leg. Squeeze. So if raising the leg strains the back, you can keep them down. Otherwise, just raise them an inch or two. Squeeze the front of the body. Squeeze the back of the body. 
squeeze the facial muscles, squeeze the right side, squeeze the left side, squeeze really tight. Get all of the tension out. Squeeze, squeeze, and relax completely. And take a few deep breaths. And again, the whole body. So raising the legs, raising the hands if that feels good to you. Squeeze the right side, squeeze the left side. Keep your breath moving, keep your head down. Squeeze tight, tight as you can. Like you're trying to squeeze all the tension out of your body. Really, really tighten up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax. Take a few deep breaths. And one more time, we're gonna do the whole body. So raising your arms, raise your legs if that feels okay for you, squeeze tight. Imagine the pores of your skin are opening up and you're squeezing the tension up. Really tighten up. Squeeze, we're just bringing the energy, the prana to every part of the body. So really squeeze tight until your body starts shaking. Squeeze, squeeze, and relax. Take a few deep breaths. Roll your head side to side gently. Bring your arms overhead behind you. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms away from your head. Press your lower back into the mat. And take three or four deep breaths. And then bring your arms down by your side and roll to one side and come up to a standing position, getting ready for the sun salute. So stand at the front end of your mat, feet right under the hips, bring your hands together in front of your heart, stand tall, lift your head, just take a couple of breaths. And on your inhale, reach your arms overhead, bend back, Exhale forward, bring your hands to the mat. Step your right foot back, drop your knee. Inhale, head up, lift the knee. Take the left foot back, hold the plank, and lower your knee. Take your hips back towards your heels, scoop your belly and round your back, chest and chin toward the mat, and come into Cobra Pose. Shoulders back and down. Press into your palms, straighten your arms, turn your toes under. Take your hips up and back. Lift your right leg as high as you can. Try to bring it all the way, stepping the foot between the hands. Drop the left knee, lift your head. Lift your left knee. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, arms alongside your ears. Come up, bend back. Exhale, arms down. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your hands to your heart. Breathe in, reach up and back. And breathe out, coming forward, hands down. Step your left foot back, drop your knee, lift your head, breathe it in. Lift the knee, take the right foot back and hold the plank. Lower your knee, take your hips back towards your heels, chest and chin toward the mat, scoop forward, baby cobra so the belly stays down, shoulders back, head up. Press into your palms, straighten your arms. Take your hips up, exhale. Lift the left foot, try to bring it all the way between the hands. Drop the right knee, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Inhale, stand up, bend back. And exhale, arms down. Breathe in, breathe out, bring your hands together. Breathe in, reach up, bend back. Breathe out and come forward, hands down. Step the right foot back, drop your knee, lift your head, inhale. Lift the knee, left foot back, hold. Lower the knees, chest and chin, exhale. Inhale, baby cobra. And turn your toes under, exhale, downward dog, up. Lift the right foot, 
Step forward, drop the left knee and inhale, head up. Left foot forward, exhale. Inhale up and back. Exhale, arms down. Breathe in, breathe out, bring your hands together. Breathe in, reach up, bend back. Breathe out and come forward, hands down. Left foot back, drop your knee, lift your head, inhale. Lift the knee, take your right foot back, hold the plank. Lower the knee, chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog, take your hips up. Lift your left foot, step forward, drop the right knee. Inhale, head up. Right foot forward, exhaling. Inhale, stand up, bend back. Exhale, arms down. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring your hands together. Breathe in, reach up, bend back. Exhale, forward, hands down. Step your right foot back, drop your knee, inhale, head up. Lift the knee, left foot back, hold plank. And exhale, lower your knee, hips back, scoop forward, chest and chin, and baby cobra, shoulders and head up, inhaling. Turn your toes under, exhale. Downward dog, lift your right foot, try to step all the way between your hands. Drop your left knee, inhale, head up. Left foot forward, exhale. Inhale, stand up, bend back. Exhale, arms down. Breathe in, breathe out, bring your hands together. Breathe in, reach up, bend back. Exhale, forward, hands down. Step your left foot back, drop your knee, lift your head, breathe in. Lift the knee, right foot back, hold. Lower your knees, chest and chin, exhale in. Inhale, baby cobra, shoulders back. Turn your toes under, exhale, lift your hips. Downward dog, lift the left leg. Step it forward all the way between the hands, drop your right knee, inhale, head up and right foot forward, exhale, and inhale, stand up, bend back, and exhale, arms down, and now you can lie down in the corpse pose again, relaxing on your back, remember, feet apart, arches of the feet to the ceiling, hands by your sides. Focus on your breath and allowing your breathing and your heart rate to slow. In these rests between poses, we want to pause for six breaths. And that might be a little different for you than for me. Everybody breathes at a slightly different pace. So just thinking about six breaths. And then we're going to do some leg raises. So let's bring the feet together, hands by your sides. We're going to start with the right leg. You can keep your left leg out straight. Or if you would like a little more support, you can bend your left knee and place the left foot on the floor. So on the inhale, we're going to lift that right leg straight up and exhale, lower it down and do two more. Try to have a nice, smooth, flowing movement as you lift and as you lower. So it's the same pace the whole way. And I've got one more lift and lower. Take a breath. And then the left side, lift the leg and lower. Try to have a nice, smooth, even pace. Lift and lower. And the last one, lift and lower and rest for a moment. And now we're going to lift the right leg again. Put your hands on the back of your leg. Flex your foot, really straighten that leg as much as you can. Press into the back of the knee, lift your head, and bring your head as close as you can to your knee. It's okay if it's far away. Take a breath, but you want to keep the knee straight here. Lower your head, lower your leg. Take your left leg up, flex the foot, press into the back of the leg, straighten it, and lift your head. Bring it as close as you can to your knee. Take a breath. Keeping the knee straight, lower the head, 
Hold over the leg and right leg. Lift and hold it, press into your heel. Bring your head towards your knee, take a breath. Head down, leg down, left leg up. Hold it, pull it towards you. Lift your head, head close as you can to the knee. Take a breath, head down, leg down, left leg up, sorry, right leg, hold it, head to the knee, take a breath, head down, leg down, left leg up, hold it, head to the knee, take a breath, head down, leg down, bend your right knee, wrap your hands around your right shin, hug the right leg in tight, and just take a couple of deep breaths, a single wind relieving pose. Good for our digestion and all the organs of the abdomen. Bringing your right leg straight, take your left leg in, wrap your hands around your shin, hug that left leg in, take a couple of deep breaths. And then we're gonna release it and we're gonna do a double leg lift. So both legs together. If there's strain in your back when you're doing this, you could put your hands on your back or bend your knees a little or just switch to single leg lifts because um, we don't wanna strain the back. Remember, non-harming means the uh, right. So we're gonna lift both legs and then lower them down. Again, that smooth flowing movement. Lift both legs and lower. We're gonna do eight of them. Lift, number three, lower them together. Smooth movement, four, lift, and lower them together. And lift, and lower, and six. Lift, and lower, two more. Lift, and lower, and the last one, lift and lower and just relax for a moment. So sometimes people have lower back pain and that can be a reflection of weakness in the core. So these leg lifts can help with that, but make sure that you're not hurting yourself while you're doing them. So always switch to single leg lifts if there's too much strain with the double. And then we're gonna also release the lower back. So bend both knees, wrap your arms around your shins and hug your legs in really tight thighs against the abdomen take a couple of deep breaths rock your hips side to side come back to center take another breath and release your legs and just lie down on your back in the corpse pose so Phase one, this is the last asana, the last pose of phase one is the corpse pose. Palms facing the ceiling, hands away from the sides. So we have the life force energy that keeps us alive, that's flowing in our bodies, and we move that when we do yoga poses. We remove blockages for it, we allow it to flow. So now we're here in corpse pose and that energy can move more freely. This is the position that allows it to move most easily. We can bring vitality, healing energy to all parts of our body. So we don't know mentally usually what's going on, you know, in our body. We don't know. Maybe the liver is a little sluggish today or the stomach needs some support, you know, we don't, sometimes we'll sense things, but usually we don't know those details, but there's an intelligence in our body that does know. And when we do yoga poses, it frees up and removes blockage in our system that allows the energy to flow and allows blood flow as well, lymph to all of those areas that need a little extra support. So just lying here, breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. 
pay attention to your breath, let everything else be of little importance compared to the breath. Just the breath is your focus right now as it moves in and out, in and out, that constant rhythm of your breath. Just put your attention there for the next few moments. So take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale from your mouth, and again in through your nose, out from your mouth, and gently move your toes, move your fingers, rotate your ankles, rotate your wrists. And roll over and rest on your side. And just rest on your side for a moment with your arm up under your head. So traditionally we roll to the right side. I'm rolling to my left so I don't have my back to you, but um, you can roll to whatever side feels good to you. But just to note that traditionally we roll to the right. Okay, we're gonna come up to a seated position. And it's great when you're sitting, if you can sit on a little bit of height. I've got a folded blanket here, a blanket, a cushion. It just helps us to be more comfortable and sit well and sit tall. So you wanna have a lengthened spine, lifting your chest, relaxing your shoulders, resting your hands on your legs, just close your eyes and take a moment to bring your attention back inside and observe your body and your mind and observe your breath. You can just count in your mind five deep breaths, five inhales, five exhales. Rub your hands together and rest your palms on your eyes. Give yourself a massage on your face, your neck, your shoulders. Namaste. So there you have it. That's phase one for the Shiva Nada routine. And this is a complete practice, simple, but very, very effective. So if you just have a little time, you can just do phase one and it will be very beneficial to you. Thank you. Namaste.